purpose of this little video is to illustrate how a structure is anchored when it's sitting on a base beam on the ground. The most common way of anchoring it is with T-posts. The secondary way is, is with the big screw in anchors like what they use for the tents. Now a T-post, as the name implies, is shaped like the letter T. And it has holes along the leg part of, of it, so this is important to remember. T-posts or fence posts normally come seven or eight feet long. You cut them in half. Three and a half to four feet is a good length. When you're starting to install them, you will be straddling the beam. So you're standing over it like this. You're putting the post into the ground, and then you turn it. So the idea is for the leg part to be turned so that it's rubbing against it. Now, the other thing that's important to remember is that the post is leaned away from you, and then you pound it into the ground. Once you're in far enough that you're close to flush on the top, and two of the holes are lined up with the side of the beam, you stop, and then you're putting two fasteners in, two leg bolts. They will be going on a little bit of an angle because your post is turned. So now the first post is finished. To do your second post, you turn the opposite way, and again, you put, you put the post in, you turn it a little bit so that the leg is brushing against it, and you lean it away from you. So each time you're doing this, you're leaning the post away from you. Now you hammer it into the ground, and then you fasten the next one. The idea for having them on opposing angles is that they work against each other to hold. The first two are usually a little bit closer together. As you're going down the length, they can go a little bit farther apart. You're averaging roughly one post per hoop. 